What's going on guys, Nick Hellman here, aka The Crypto Hitman, and I want to do a quick video on Manta Pacific, this brand new Layer 2, and why we added it to the Learn Crypto portfolio over at patreon.com slash learn crypto. So I received a bunch of DMs about the launch of Manta Pacific, the airdrop that we're doing. Obviously, we couldn't get in the pre-sale. And, you know, after looking at the airdrop clause, we ran out of time. But now the launch happened. It happened about a week ago. I was watching the chart. It's popping up on my news feed. So I want to take a look. First thing I did was come to the Twitter. I look at the followers. Looks good. They are actively creating partnerships, integrations, and posts. Looks good. Manta Pacific, the modular layer 2, backed by Polychain, Binance Labs, OX Polygon Labs, Layer 0 Labs, with Celestia Org underneath, caught my interest. So I came over here. I went over to CoinGecko. Uh, uh, you can also look at Beyond FOMO. This isn't listed on there just yet. I hit max. I said, okay, just launched. I was looking at this yesterday when price was around $2.56. I was like, okay, in this range. Looks like we got a couple highs here. What's the market cap? $500 million. Right now it's $782 million. Fully diluted, $3 billion. So I'm like, okay, well, there's only about 25% of the tokens out there. When are these other 75% coming? Because that's what I need to concern myself with. Also, what is the utilization of this network? I know it's new, but how does it compare to the likes of OP, Arbitrum, Injective, and some of these other new Layer 1s and Layer 2s that are coming to the marketplace? And we and we do know that the scaling solution, these Layer 1s, is a hot sector right now. And I know there's money to be made if we can find some alpha. Came over here to DeFi Llama. What do you know? TVL on Manta is $427 million. Pretty solid for something that just launched. Can't be disappointed with that. I said, how does this compare to Arbitrum? Well, Arbitrum has 2.55 billion. Obviously, it's been around a little bit longer. But what's the fully diluted market cap of Arbitrum? $17 billion, already sitting at 2.2 billion. So although it does have about 5x the TVL, it has been out longer to get that 5x. And its current market capitalization is 2.5x higher. FDV is much higher. I think that math is 6x higher. I was like, okay, there might be something interesting here. Let's go to Optimism. Optimism, 783 million. TVL, not that much more. Maybe twice as much as Manta with a fully diluted market cap of 12 billion and an OP market cap of 2.7 billion. Remember, this is over a 3x, this market capitalization is. So, hmm. Well, let's look at something else that's been new but hyped. Let's look at Injective. Injective, only 36.8 million TVL. That TVL is extremely low, unless DeFi Llama isn't aggregating everything. But that is extremely low compared to the rest. INJ's market cap is already 2.91 billion, bigger than that of OP. So people, now I'm like, man, maybe my Injective thesis is off too. Off too but maybe that's for another video. The one thing Injective has going for it is look at the difference here. Nearly all of the tokens for Injective are already in circulating supply. There's no more pre-sale investors to dump on you. No more VCs to dump on you. They're already out there. And there's about a million tokens sitting in a treasury, which obviously people are going to be tracking. And you hope that the team has good intentions with. That's why I think people are liking Injective, even though it is lagging on this TVL. So I liked what I saw on TVL for Manta in comparison to price. Now, my, still, my only concern is only 25% of the tokens are out there. So 75% to come. So I went ahead. And I wanted to dig into the tokenomic economics. I found the Manta tokenomics medium. Scroll down, blah, blah, blah. Utility, cool, Z -snar ZK snarks, cool, passive income, revenue dispersion, only a 2% inflation rate, blah, 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 blah. Don't care. For the initial investment in any project for me, yes, I need to skim those utilities. I did read them. I did better of a job than that. But I care about these initial distributions. I care about what's going on with the token economics. And because realize when you're getting first into a project, it's a trading bag. And then over time, that trading bag can, can become a utility bag where you're using that token, whether it's in DeFi, passive income generation, or whatever. And then if it graduates again, it goes from a utility bag to a long-term investment bag where there's an actual thesis, long-term token economics, long-term passive income. This thing will sustain the next be around for the bull market, be around for the bear market, and sustain cycle to cycle, and that's when you get into that long-term category. For now, we are looking at Manta at a surface level, seeing if it's worth a trade entry. I saw private investors, public investors, 
strategic investors, institution investors, airdrop, airdrop two, Binance Launchpad, advisors. I was like, oh my gosh, the amount of inflation is going to hurt my head. I might just have to pass. Now, before I went down to this next part, I came over here to the charts. And I looked. And when we were looking, I was like, okay, we were looking at this point right here. We're in a range. We're in a range here. We keep getting rejected up here. Bitcoin's been weak and it's holding. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe there's something to this. I was like, holy cow, though. I don't know if I want to buy this. I need to dig deeper and figure out what kind of pricing there is and, and why are we in this range right now and why is this holding strong even with Bitcoin in the shitter? Well, let's look. Public sale. 50% of people's public sale price tokens were giving out at TGE. So if anybody wanted to sell, this thing's been out for seven days or whatever it's been, they probably already sold. Because they are up big. Now, the remaining 50% does come out over the next six months. Pretty short-term investing. A lot of tokens. 40 million tokens going to be put into the market over a six-month period. That's a lot of tokens a day. Especially at a 3 million token valuation. That was a little concerning that that was the top line item. So, I was like, let's see. But, private round. 12-month cliff. No more new tokens. Strategic. 12-month cliff. No more new tokens. Institution. 12-month cliff. Airdrop. 100% release at TGE. Those airdrop hunters, bounty hunters, if they wanted to sell, they were out big. They got free tokens. They're already out. Binance Launchpad, 100% release at TGE. If those guys wanted money, they like the 10x. They got their big green candle. I saw it on the chart. They're already out. That's why price is holding. Ecosystem and community, 50 million tokens at TGE. Rest linear over 48 months. 48 months, 4 years, spread out these tokens pretty good. Plus it's the ecosystem slash community, so there's going to be reward incentives. And hopefully the team has thought about these, processed these, and, and with the backers they had from Binance and all the other exchanges is on, I think they probably thought about this pretty well. And you're hoping that those don't get dumped on the open market, but bring in more value than is being x put it out if people want to sell those tokens. Foundation, linear over 72 months, long vesting. New Paradigm airdrop number 2. 50 million already released and only 15 million left, which have a three month cliff on it. Again, airdrop hunters, if they want it out, they're already up big. They got free tokens. They should be out. And there's no more of these tokens coming out for three more months. So that buys us until March, near the end of March. That buys us some time. Actually, near the end of April, probably. Team, 18 month cliff and advisors, 25 million initial release at TG, rest monthly over 30 months. This is KOLs, this is advisors, if they want it out, they're out, they got them all at TG, price is still holding, 30 months, so this will be a little trickle. So the only real inflation I'm seeing here, I was surprised, is you are seeing public sale, and you are seeing advisors getting tokens. The rest, things are locked up, we got a 3 month buffer here, and we got a 12 month buffer here, that's why I was interested in a trade. I wanted to see at what price these people got in though. So before I pulled the trigger on a buy or put an overhead buy limit for my Discord, the next step that I took is I need to know what people paid to get in this thing. Because right now, due to these cliffs, I would have to make a calendar note. But right now, it's going to be a trade. We're not yet to utility. We're just looking for a trade. And I think there's a window here. A lot of the weak hands or the people who made their money, they're out. We got a three-month buffer before the next real distribution. And I think we could see some upside potential with the list of exchanges there are on the hype around Manta, the new partners they're announcing, and the market makers they have on board. But I needed to know the price. So I came over here, Manta token, says 9.06x from ICO public price, one Manta was 36 cents. This told me a couple things. A, 36 cents, 10x, all of the people who wanted to sell, they sold. There was plenty of multiples there. You're looking at a 10x in a week, from these in public sale investors, if they wanted to sell, they would sell. Airdrop hunters, huge gains. Airdrop two, huge gains. Advisors, free tokens. They already sold. They're out. I think a lot of the circulating supply is going to be people who are already moved to the utility stage of Manta, who are using the ecosystem, who are using it for farms, who are trying to utilize the Manta token, or the people who believe in Manta in the long term and the upside potential and their stronger hands looking for far greater multiples than a 10x. The weak hands should be out with this. If this was a 2x or a 3x, I don't know if I can comfortably say that a lot of the weak hands are out because that wasn't that big of a multiple. But we are seeing a 9.06x, a 10x, a 12x. Weak hands are getting out quickly, especially airdrop hunters, bounty hunters, uh, KOLs, etc. So I came over here to the chart. I confirm. First thing I noticed is this. Huh, this is interesting. It says the chart starts at 2 cents, 3 cents. Let me tell you a little something about centralized exchanges and the gimmicks they like to play. Because now everybody can brag about how many gains. Because, you know, in 
six months, a year from now, people are like, you could have bought $100 a Manta at three cents, and it would now be worth $2 trillion. This is a game. We know that the public round investor price was 36 cents, which is up here. Still a 10x from here. Great, 9x. But this, they put a very small amount of liquidity on the exchange, and guess who you think buys that first? Their market makers and or the exchange. They do this to push this green candle to create FOMO for retail investors. Kind of a sad story, yes, I know. Uh, but that is the way that they like to manipulate the market. It's just what they do. It's what they feel is right. And that's how they do it. That's how they get these big green candles and make this chart look like this. Also, that's why you're going to see in about eight months all the influencers on YouTube saying, if you invested $100 at two cents, you would now be sleeping on a yacht next to Bezos. It's bullshit. It's it, it's dumb. Let's look deeper let than the surface level. This is where people are at. 36 cents. Massive pump on Binance. Settle back in. All the airdrops. Everybody sold. This was on... Uh, January 18th, so we're looking at the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, 23rd, the 24th, plus the original 18th, a week. We we're a week in. Everybody who had free tokens, everybody who was getting their installments is out. Now we are marching higher with strength. Now in the Discord, we were right here, and I put an overhead buy limit here. Hindsight, I should have just bought here. But I put an overhead buy limit here due to the weakness that we were seeing in Bitcoin or the uncertainty we're seeing in Bitcoin. And the fact that I wanted to see if everybody was shaken out. We were sitting on another red candle. So I put this above this high, above this high, and above this candle high here on Binance. I don't count this initial wick because this is kind of a faux wick as well. Just like this is a faux wick down here at the bottom. So I was calling this the high. Made sure we got above it. What do you know? We got up here. We got filled. And we have moved higher throughout the day today. Now, we do have concerns of those public sale tokens being released on a daily linear method. But I am seeing a lot of progress from Manta. And I think this is one that obviously we're already in a trade. I'm going to learn more about the ecosystem, see how to get involved, what else we can do with the tokens. But for now, we are up 11% on our trade and timestamps don't lie. As you can see here, this is our private discord, patreon.com slash learn crypto. And here is the trade right here. Yesterday at 9.17 p.m., crypto market place overhead buy limit at 282.50. If price goes to or above 282.50, it will trigger your order buying the newly launched Manta for the first time. I will need to do a video over the project to explain more. This is that video, the surface level, a research on why I entered a trade. And now we're on the next level in which I need to do fundamental research on will we be participating on the network and turning this trade into a utility uh, position for our portfolio. Trading it at MEXC. Um, if you don't know, it is also available on all major exchanges. Binance, Bingx, KuCoin, Hotcoin, Bybit, Gate, Bitmart, the list goes on. So this thing launched with liquidity on a lot of places. That does concern me. Did these exchanges get too many tokens? Will they be dumping them? So far, the market makers have done a great job. There's a, a halt kind of on big influx of new tokens for the next three months. After that, after a 12-month cliff. So I think we have a window here for a trade and an opportunity in the hot sector where the layer 1s and layer 2s are doing extremely well. I opted. We sold Arbitrum higher for profits. We sold OP higher for profits. I could buy those back cheaper right now and look like a genius. But I'm looking for a little more alpha. I am opting to go with Manta. We also have an overhead buy on Ejective. Based on the token distributions, based on the TVLs, based on what I am seeing, I believe both of those in the short midterm will outperform both OP and Arbitrum. We are rotating our positions from profits in both Arbitrum and OP, looking at Injective and getting a position in Manta. Will that play out? Will I be correct? We shall see. What happens for the long term of those projects? We shall see. There's always a possibility that the rotation goes back to OP and Arbitrum in the future, but this is currently how we're structuring the portfolio. This is a quick breakdown of the research I did just to even take a trade entry in this brand new Layer 2 solution in Manta, and now it's time to dig deeper, deeper folks. Will we find APRs on Manta? Will Manta 10x even from here over the next three months before another big influx of tokens hit the market? Or will Bitcoin ruin the party for everything and dump? We don't know. We'll see. We're up 11%. If you want this kind of research, this kind of guidance, these kind of trade setups, join us. Patreon.com slash learn crypto. I don't win all the time, but I promise you, I win more than I lose. We're always ahead of the curve, and we're always looking for that alpha. Peace.